To be able to bring this experience in a small group like this is amazing. A diode. A diode. Allows electricity. Allows electricity. To flow in one direction. This is part of a week-long unit that we've been doing on electricity, teaching basic concepts such as open and closed circuit, series and parallel. So if you have an open circuit right now. That was connected. Okay, so open needs to be? Connected. I have 25 students, second grade. What do you guys have on your iPad? Is it a picture of what you're supposed to do? Every week we have a different STEM challenge. This week's challenge had to do with snap circuits and being able to show different types of circuits. Mr. Gonzalez ran a center um, using snap circuits. So today we're going to build a parallel circuit, but we're going to add that light to the end. Remember yesterday we were trying to get that light to work and we couldn't get it to work? You start to see uh, how a student thinks and how they rationalize. And, and some students who maybe don't excel in our textbook fashion end up being masters of this kind of hands-on uh, project-based learning. And then we had a technology center as well. They were working on the iPads, doing um, a fantastic app that Mr. Gonzalez had found for the school for us. There's an app that they use on the iPads in the center over here in which they're creating circuits with uh, pieces that they just drag and drop into place. And so they're seeing how, how conductors work. They see how completing a circuit works, and if, there's missing a, uh, if they're missing a conductor, the circuit's not complete. This and then they used a circuit puzzle, which was something tactile, that they could also practice the circuits, practice making a circuit, but in a different level than turning something on or off. So it was a little bit more critical thinking with it. Why is this one working and this one doesn't? You're going to see that second graders can actually learn this concept that is so foreign to most people because it's something that we can't see. You can't see electricity, right? And so to have to break it down to electrons and have them understand that electricity is just a flow of electrons like in a traffic, and to understand that's what the circuit is and a circuit's a freeway for it, and they never failed me, you know, second graders. It's completely engaging. The students don't realize that this is also language arts. It's informational text that's being used for STEM. STEM is informational reading. That is common core for every single grade level. So it's not something new, it's not science, it's not one subject. Everything's filtering in, um, but you have to do a little bit of work in order to get the language arts and the STEM connected, but they work hand in hand together. Think about it when you're putting it together. If it doesn't work for you, think about that. Doing the snap circuits, that is, that's the biggest thing that they've done this year. The students are so engaged that they're not concerned with anything that goes on outside of the classroom. So you don't get any engagement right now because they're so sucked in to what they're doing? Don't ask any questions until they're done. These concepts can be scaled up or down to disseminate through the grade levels from kindergarten to six. So each year they would be learning this concept, but at an increased rigor or an increased depth of knowledge. Okay. I'm excited watching them every day, watching them progress. They start out with something very um, simple and then pushed it into something that was very detailed with the different types of circuits.